The Ampulla of Vader and the Sphincter of Adi are neighbors in a high-rent district of your anatomy known as the Duodenum. Let me break it down for you. The Ampulla of Vader, named after Abraham Vader, a German anatomist, is essentially a meeting room. It's the point where the pancreatic duct and the common bile duct shake hands and dump their cargo into the small intestine. It's the business end of the duct system where enzymes and bile from the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas say their goodbyes as they're excreted into the duodenum to start the digestion process. Then there's the sphincter of Adi. It's named for an Italian dude, Ruggiero Adi. This is not a fun party spot. It's kind of a bouncer at the club. The sphincter is a muscular valve regulating the flow of this digestive juice mix into the small intestine. It clamps down on the ducts, controlling the traffic like a toll booth to prevent backflow, and only opens when it's time to let the digestion magic happen. Think of the ampulla as the double doors leading to your exclusive penthouse, while the sphincter of Adi would be the high-tech security door that scans the guests. They're close buddies in the world of gastrointestinal real estate, but they have very different jobs. They might seem to occupy the same anatomical space, akin to how my home in Portland, Oregon gets its fair share of overlapping bike lanes and food carts. But remember, the ampulla is the common space, and the sphincter is the gatekeeper. One's for passage, and the other's for permission. They've got to work together harmoniously, or else you'll have a bit of a domestic disturbance on your hands, or in this case, in your gut. 